Back in the book segment tonight, rolling with Corolla, we begin with comments made by Bette Midler, who's currently doing a play on Broadway, about the IRS scandal. Ms. Midler tweeted, quote, I never thought I'd say this to the IRS. Thank you. Thank you for denying 501c4 to any group who hates, I guess that includes Media Matters or Move On, extreme left hate groups who enjoy tax-free benefits. Joining us now from Los Angeles, Adam Carolla. You know Bette Midler, are you hang with her uh, out there in L.A.? Oh, yeah. We do torch songs every Saturday night. <laughs> have, you ever met, have you ever met the woman? No, never, never met her. Just seen her specials where she goes out on stage dressed like a mermaid. So we're taking political advice from a giant fish. I don't know about that. Um, well, you know, the wings are... First your... off, the hypocrisy bothers me yeah, because oh, yeah. obviously... If it was a Republican administration going after Planned Parenthood, she would eat her own fishtail. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Um, but I was surprised that Ms. Midler would really, you know, condone when most liberal Americans are not condoning the IRS situation. Most of them are condemning it. But Ms. Midler, standing alone, Corolla, you know, saying thank you, IRS, for persecuting conservatives. Well, she's decided that there's an us and them. And, you know, this is going on more and more where I think you and I, hopefully you and I agree that, you know, we have our team, they have their team, but we want the game played without corrupt officials, right? Yeah. We don't oh, want absolutely. them calling. We want an honest, an honest shake for everybody and our leadership, to be honest. But... Miss Midler uh, has wind beneath her feet or something. I, I remember some song that I never really listened to, the whole song. I was write that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, L.A. has a new mayor, uh, Garcetti. Congratulations to him. Hope he shapes the town up because you guys owe all kinds of money. But even so, uh, the L.A. school board wants to extend the breakfast program for kids. And I understand you have a problem with that. Well, I do because it's the most important meal of the day and you're letting the people who run Los Angeles provide it for your kids, which is basically just going to be, you know, surplus fish sticks from the Korean conflict, number one. Number two, I did some checking into this. You know, you can get for $18 a sack of oatmeal that has over 100 servings, so under 18 cents a day, but let's just call it a quarter with milk and brown sugar. You can feed your own damn kids, but the biggest thing I want to focus on, it's not the food, it's not the nutrition, it's the indoctrination into the system. Yeah. We are pulling six and seven year olds into a system that basically says, don't worry about your parents, they're not going to take care of you, we'll take we'll care provide. of you. And in 20 years, right. these kids are going to want us to cater their weddings. That's a good point. That's an excellent point. Um, all right. Network TV, as we know it, has vanished. It is blown up. It no longer exists because this happened in prime time last week. Roll the tape. All right, so on uh, an ABC program, Nicki Minaj gave somebody a lap dance we couldn't show, so we uh, thank you for volunteering your picture to black that out, uh, Carola. Wasn't my idea, but thanks. Yeah, uh, first off, I'd <laughs> love my to dig idea. up. <laughs> I, I'd love to dig up Ed Sullivan and show him this, oh. <laughs> just to see. What, that would put him right back in the ground. Gray right? he would turn. <laughs> yeah. Um, Listen, I don't judge because I live in L.A. and every second house here comes with a stripper pole. As a matter of fact, <laughs> it's where we go. I've told my family during an earthquake, go to the stripper pole. That's the strongest that's, part of the house. That's no right. Yeah, and then you can swim around we got a every, pole. whenever it means shaking. I'd like to see what Topo Gigio thought about that as well with the Ed Sullivan thing. You know, the little Italian mouse for those of you yes. who remember. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Eddie, Eddie, what is that, Eddie? Adam Garola, everybody. <laughs>